Now, a couple things before we apply Hydro Slick. We are in a shaded environment. It is a little bit hot outside. It's kind of, you know, coming inside. It's a little bit of a warmer day today, but always work on a cool surface and out of direct sunlight. Simple reason for that is because you don't want the product to dry up on you prematurely and it's gonna make it more difficult to remove it because this is a ceramic coating. So ceramics, they're designed to harden on the surface. So the last thing that you want is for the ceramic to dry on you before you get to apply it. Now, Hydro Slick. Hydro Slick is a ceramic coating hyper wax. So basically, we've combined the properties of a ceramic coating with the familiarity of a traditional carnauba wax. So for those of you guys out there who have applied our product like our butter wet wax or any kind of liquid yellow carnauba wax, Basically, we want to mimic the exact same application style. All you need to do is grab yourself, grab a brand new microfiber applicator. Don't use an old janky one that's dirty and has all kinds of rocks and twigs embedded on it. Grab yourself a brand new applicator because trust me, the brand new applicator is gonna save your life. That way you don't scratch your paint with any old applicator that you may have lying around. Put yourself about four small drops. And then I want you guys to work in small sections at a time. Don't apply it to the entire hood all at once because, like I said, depending on the size of your vehicle, it's really going to determine, you know, how much of it you want to apply to a certain section at a time because you don't want it to dry up on you. In this case, I'm doing like this little, I guess, one fourth of the hood, the, the little section that we did when polishing, applying a cross hatch motion, left, right, up and down. And another key thing is never, never, never over apply the product. So even though it barely may be visible to you, don't worry about it. As long as your applicator is wet and you can kind of see like where you've applied it at, you'll be fine. Don't go the extra mile thinking that if you apply more of the product, it's going to give you more shine and protection. It does not work like that. So now that you've applied it, normally you want to let it sit from anywhere from about 30 seconds and up to two minutes. Since today is more of a warmer day, you can kind of tell by all the sweat on my forehead, we're gonna go ahead and wipe it off in as little as 30 seconds. So from the time that I started applying it to right now, which I don't know if you guys wanna give me a timestamp, I would say three, two, one, should be about 30 seconds now. So grab yourself a microfiber towel and wipe it off. Now you'll know that you did it right because whenever you start wiping it, it should come right off very easily. You'll know if you did it wrong, if it becomes very like sticky. If you feel it sticky, you're just gonna have to bear through it because you may have over applied the product and or you applied it onto an unprepped surface. So that's usually just because the product gets embedded on the surface, like on uh, the contamination. If you didn't clay and polish it, odds are that the product may have stuck onto those contaminants and it's a little bit rough to apply. Or like I said, you may have over applied it and applied too much product at once. But that's perfectly fine because if you did apply a lot of product, a lot of that stuff should still be on your applicator, which you can go ahead and just easily stretch to another section like the section right next to it that I didn't cover. And just from those four dots, as you guys can see, I'm spreading this out very evenly, left, right, up and down, in a nice cross hatch even motion because the more even you have it, the better. And while that is basically curing right there, one thing I do wanna talk about is your choice of towel. Now you guys may be wondering what towel I'm using. Now this towel right here specifically is a professional grade microfiber towels. One side has a short pile and the other one has a high pile. Now normally to remove Hydro Slick, I recommend using the short pile. This is a lot easier to go ahead and remove the product. And then if you wanna go ahead and buff off any excess, go ahead and simply grab your towel, flip it to the other side, I like folding it in fours and buff off any remaining residue sitting on the surface. And just like that, you've applied Hydro Slick to your vehicle. It's not that hard. Really the hardest part is getting to the point where you actually start applying it because if you think about it, you gotta wash your car, dry it, clay it, polish it, prep it with our wipeout surface cleanser. And then the easiest part is applying Hydro Slick. So now that this is basically done, all I have to do is basically apply it to the rest of the hood, which I'll go ahead and do right now.
so now that we're done applying hydro slick onto this side of the hood now it's time to let it cure so in order to let it cure we want to go ahead and just let this set don't touch it don't spray anything on it don't wipe it down don't look at it I mean, you can look at it but just don't touch it and we're going to allow that to sit for three hours at minimal and then we're going to come back and show you guys the results now really what we're going to see as far as the results is that the right side the coated side you're going to see some intense hyperactive water beating as opposed to the left side which is untreated unclayed unpolished that's still going to be sheeting kind of like has how we show at the beginning of the video you'll see it just sheeting water the water sticks to it and that's not a good thing because the water is sticking to it then the contaminants that land on your vehicle are as well and as you guys can see or not really see but i can go ahead and feel it with my hand right now and one thing i'll tell you right now is that this thing is super slick like my hands just like hovering all over this paintwork that we just applied our hydro slick to and that is a great thing it's actually going to get much slicker once it fully cures so we're going to let that cure for about three hours and then we'll come back and show you guys the results one thing i did want to bring up is if you do want to apply a secondary coat such as if you want to layer your protectant then we would recommend that you wait at least half an hour from your first coat sorry after wiping off the first coat before applying a secondary coat and then the process just restarts so after you apply that secondary coat you wipe it off give it three hours set a uh, stopwatch whatever you want to do for best results i would honestly recommend that you leave it parked in your garage or in a shaded environment where it's not going to be touched for up to 12 hours because like i said even after that three hour mark your hydrophobic properties and the protection that you're going to get from this is going to continue to better as it cures three hours later all right guys so it's been about three hours so right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the blue tape we're going to pull it outside and show you guys the results All right guys, and just like that, we're all done with this video. We showed you guys today how to wash your vehicle, clay it and polish it and prepare it in preparation for our Hydro Slick Ceramic Coating Hyperwax. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that you guys seen on today's video, they're all gonna be listed in the description and pinned comment down below. And if you guys wanna pick it up in person, you can pick them up at your local detail garage store. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys, we'll see you guys next time.